everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday for almost six years now. In May it'll be six years so if you're new here you have a lot of videos to catch up on. I have been doing my kids birthday parties since they were born. Um, so this is a party prep and the whole purpose of this video is to motivate you if you have a party or a holiday that you're prepping for and you just need some motivation or some new ideas or some confidence that you can actually do it yourself. I started out having no idea what I was doing. I still really don't know what I'm doing but I watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to make balloon arches and how to make cakes and every year I try my best but no matter what my kids are always so happy and that is just the point of this. We live for this. This is like our Super Bowl. All year my kids talk about what themed birthday party that they're having. Whenever they're having a hard time sleeping, I say, think about your birthday party. It's just a very big deal in our family. Um, so yeah, that's just a little backstory. So the first thing that I always do in my party preps is just get the baking out of the way. I usually do the cakes like two days in advance and I freeze them. And then I'll do the cupcakes usually the night before just because I have a really hard time keeping them fresh and not getting stale. Um, so, little uh, story here. This actually was a week prior to my son Tanner's sixth birthday party when I made that cake. And we had to cancel his birthday party the night before because we got the stomach virus and a couple other people in my family were sick so this poor kid he's had this happen multiple years in a row i feel like it's just what it's like having a january birthday it's a struggle um so yeah anyway we had to reschedule his party he was a champ about it because he had his friend party the next day and we went to the movie theaters and had all that so now the second thing that I always do after my baking is done is I do the balloon arch because it's tedious and it takes a long time so I try to get the hard stuff out of the way first. I can never figure out like the little finger tire that comes with the balloon arch kits so I use my hands for everything and my skin is still cracked on my index finger on my right hand but it's fine it's totally worth it. So I basically just go on Amazon and I look up different themed balloons and all of that and I just found this one that came up under Mario um, and put it all together I blew up every single balloon I like to do the big ones on the balloon arch first and then go from there I have mixed colors in the past but I find that I like it color blocked the most so I'll show you in a little bit the balloon tape that usually comes with the balloon arches this particular tape I like a lot. I know you can buy them at the dollar store and things like that. So stay tuned. I'll show you what that looks like. But I would like to give a shout out to this balloon arch for mostly lasting for an entire week until the next party. You'll see I got some smaller balloons. It definitely looked more voluptuous <laughs> before, um, you know, when it was first blown up. But yeah. So next step is the backdrop. If you're thinking about like having your kids party someplace versus having it at your, at your house or whatever, a lot of times, you know, it's about the same price or cheaper to have it at home for us and that includes catering. Um, plus the kids get to choose and they always choose to have a home birthday party so far. I'm sure when they'll get older it'll change. Um, but yeah, backdrop, that's what I do next. But the reason I'm saying this is because you should look on Amazon and just price out some of the decorations that you think about having. I always just get my backdrops from there. 
um, all of that. My next birthday party coming up, I have four kids if you're new here. Um, my oldest is going to be turning eight. Why did that just make me want to throw up? I can't believe he's turning eight in June, and he wants a World Cup soccer party, so that'll be the next one. And then my daughter's birthday, he will be turning five. Also makes me want to throw up. Um, in August, she wants, it'll be her third unicorn-themed birthday party, so we'll see if she sticks with that or not, but you gotta give them what they want. All right, now we are filling the pinata and doing the goodie bags. Um, since the kids have been old enough, I've been letting them do it. Clearly, they're having like a little snack with it. <laughs> they're just tasting out, testing out and taste testing. Wow, words are hard. Um, the pinata candy, and these are all the goodies that we got to go into the goodie bag. Right, it is about, uh, I think I want to say like around 3 o'clock or so because it was before dance class. And here is, I've laid everything out to decorate the cake. I can get a lot of this at Michael's. I always, when I'm there, I'll check on Amazon and see which one is cheaper for the fondant. Um, but yeah, first I am making the cupcakes. I would not recommend this. They were very dry and it wasn't my fault, I swear. Um, <laughs> That this is the gluten-free cupcakes. And I really want to get better at making my own cake mixes. I'm just, I never experiment in between with birthday parties. It's always like there's like an event or something that I'm making a cake for. We host a lot of stuff at our house and I'm always afraid to like screw it up, but I really will start trying to bake my own cakes uh, from scratch, I guess, because I know that they would be better. But anyway, we're using a box kit here making gluten-free vanilla cupcakes. My son Carter, he hates chocolate. I don't know where he gets it from because I'm a chocolate freak and the other kids like chocolate. So I always make sure if we do a chocolate cake, we're doing vanilla cupcakes. So we have a little bit of both. And then my good friend Kelly got me motivated to make my own frosting. Plus so many of you icing um, said that it's so easy. Just do like the butter and the powdered sugar and a little bit of cream and vanilla. And it was really easy, but this time I didn't measure anything. I got a little bit too confident in my skills and the icing was really thick and like hard to work with. So next time I'll use a recipe. Also, just to mention, my kids pick out their cakes on Pinterest and then I try to like replicate them or my favorite cake that I've ever done was for my daughter's mermaid birthday party because it was like my own creation. I took a little bit of everything that she liked um, on Pinterest and made it into a cake. You have to go back and watch that one. It was my hands down favorite cake, favorite decorating experience, all of it. And I am very uh, particular. And I never feel like I do a good enough job. So doing the cake is always really stressful for me, but it is satisfying because my kids always love it no matter what. And I just like, I try and learn from my mistakes and try every year. Fondant just hates me. Uh, we're not friends and I don't think we ever will be, but I still keep using it. On the bottom of the cake here, I used modeling chocolate cause I watched the show called uh, Bake Squad, I think it's called and they use modeling chocolate all the time. And I'm glad that I still got fondant because I cannot imagine trying to put that stuff on the cake. Like I felt like fondant was easier to work with. But anyway, we're just using the icing that I made. I'm trying to level the cakes. I will buy a cake leveler. I keep forgetting, but I have to buy a cake leveler before um, Carter's birthday. He genuinely thinks, I love his confidence in his mom. He thinks that I can make him a World Cup trophy ice cream cake that stands up like a trophy and I'm like honey you've been watching too many cake shows because mommy can't do that <laughs> so we'll see what we come up with for that birthday party but yeah um I just wanted to let it be known that I let my kids help me whenever they want to help with anything because I know I'm going to miss these days and right now my insides are screaming like please don't distract me please don't distract me I'm stressed out the icing is too like hard it's not working um, you know, like I get stressed out about the fondant cracking, 
but I just like kept it all inside but it looks in this video like I have it all together but inside I'm screaming that like I hope this comes out good and I'm trying to get to dance class on time so just wanted to put that out there if you feel that way too. All right, it's the moment of truth and you can tell that my heart is in my butt right now. Please don't crack, please don't crack, please don't crack. And we made it, just barely. All right, we got that on. There's some cracks in it, but it's fine. We're gonna cover it up with these bricks that I'm making. Got this from Amazon. I will have everything linked down below in case your kids are having this themed party as well. Um, so yeah, now we're just working on the decorations. I love doing this part. This feels like Play-Doh fun. I just wish I could get better at covering cakes. That's like the hardest part for me and the part that stresses me out the most. Um, also, modeling chocolate tastes horrible, just as bad as fondant. Um, I was thinking that like I'll make a kid's cake and then maybe I'll make like a really yummy like cupcakes for the adults and parents like I always wanted to try I, I've done this in the past before I have kids like where you make a chocolate cake with like fresh espresso in it and like just yummy recipes um, because I feel like the fondant cakes just aren't it um, but the kids enjoy them. So in the past, I've used water to try to stick fondant on because apparently like you can just do that and it's no big deal, but it always like kind of slides down and it's hard to use. So I was really excited when I saw this fondant glue at Michael's. Um, if you know any other place to buy supplies like that besides Amazon or Michael's, let me know. But it worked pretty well. You do have to hold the stuff on there for a second um, until it gets a little tacky, but it worked much better than water.
so again I could do this part all day I love like the little tedious details like I just took a toothpick and decided to make a leaf I think that's why I like the mermaid cake so much because there's like so many tiny details on it and plus it gives me more ways to hide the cracks in the fondant so yeah I love how this part came out Also, who grew up playing Mario? I absolutely love Mario. I played it. I played Mario Kart. I still beat my kids in Mario Kart. I um, I loved what was it called? Oh my gosh, like Doctor Mario, where it had like the pills that were kind of like Tetris. Um, I'm showing you my age. I'm going to be 35 in July. So yeah, we grew up on Mario. So it's pretty exciting that my kids love it. I feel the same way about Sonic because I grew up with the Sega also. But yeah. So this cake topper is from uh, Etsy and I love it. It's really cute. I always say I'm going to make my own but the Cricut can be very tedious and next time I just need to do it like way further in advance. I was trying to figure out how to get these guys to stick so I was trying to do like the white fondant underneath. Um, they were from Amazon, super affordable and now they are Tanner's toys but I just decided to like just stick them right into um, the modeling chocolate and that worked out fine as well as I put so you'll see some white under them um, for the ones that are on top and that's just the fondant glued on
Okay, now we're on to making some more icing for the cupcake. So that's what we're doing here. And then I'm going to icing them. Again, I made the icing way too stiff. So for those of you who have any tips, go ahead and let me know what they are. I love when you guys send me stuff. I feel like a lot of you really know what you're doing with baking and icing and all of that. You guys are always sending me like new tools or reels that you see on like cake hacks. And I just always feel grateful that you even take the time out of your day to think about me. I feel like that's really, really sweet. All right, my space is cleaned up and I'm just putting together this cardboard uh, Mario cupcake stand. We are having a brunch, I should have mentioned that. I let Tanner decide if he wants to have like a afternoon party or a brunch party and he loves breakfast food so he chose brunch. We have a local place cater at any time we do a brunch and it's just like eat bacon and eggs and pancakes. My husband did vlog um, for the family channel to show you like the actual party and the day of his birthday and all that so that video will be up this week as well um but yeah so th that's why there's like more pressure to make sure every single thing is done at night because 11 o'clock comes around really early in the morning especially with like trying to get yourself ready and all the kids ready so my goal is always to have as much done as possible the night before and then the morning to just like get ready and clean the house was a huge hit you'll see in the vlog it was pin the mustache on mario and luigi so cute from amazon and how many times did i say amazon you gotta take a shot every time i say amazon so i always like to put a banner on the fireplace so that's what this is i was a little salty when i opened it up and saw that i had to put it together myself but it's fine
I found the cutest outfits for the boys on Amazon that I knew that they would wear again. But the girls, I just got them really inexpensive dresses on Amazon. Wow, you guys must be drunk by now. Um, and they're from the children's place. They were affordable, and so I just decided to Cricut the M on there. Um, if you have a Cricut, all you have to do is go on Etsy and type in like Mario SVG or like whatever the theme of your party is, SVG. And you'll see these little downloadable images that you just download and print out on your Cricut. It is day of the party. The kids have been wanting to put these centerpieces together themselves um, since they saw me purchase them. And yes, that was hard for me, but they did it and they did a great job. Chris is blowing up the six balloon. We always put a number balloon on um, the hood in the kitchen. My sister came early because she made these really cute piranhas from Mario uh, made out of fruit and she wanted to set those up and plus I wanted to give my niece her dress that I made her so she could get ready in time so basically just wiping this down you can see the catering came in the back we have some mimosas I put the desserts out in the middle of the island as like decor that's what I always do for our brunches when we have like other food I don't usually do that I usually put them like someplace else um, you know like if we have like a barbecue or something like that but yeah, basically this is the day of chaos. You'll see like some families starting to roll in. We had the catering come at, uh, what time did they come? I think it was 10.30, which only gave me a half hour because they had all their stuff on the island. So it only gave me a half hour to be able to set everything up. So I think next time I might want them to come a little bit earlier. Everything stays nice and warm with the sterno, but I did feel a little rushed at the end. My sister did a great job. Tanner ate 95% of these because he is such a fruit boy. He loves fruit so much. Um, so he thought this was the best thing ever. Like Mario and fruit combined couldn't, couldn't be any better. So thank you to my sister Crystal. You're amazing and we love you. Got to take a second out to look at how cute they all are playing with their balloons and just so happy. That to me makes it all just incredibly worth it. I'm always so grateful for these family parties because we're just so blessed right now to just have our family here with us. If it weren't for them, I would be living in Florida, but I stay here in miserable Pennsylvania when it's winter time. You know, I hate winter, but I love them so much and I look forward to these parties and we're just all so close and the kids love them so much and they make everything special. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you on Sunday for hopefully I'm thinking a meal prep video. Also, happy Valentine's Day.
your soul.